Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about getting things done regardless of the circumstances. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As mentioned in the introduction there, we're going to talk about getting things done regardless of the circumstances. So first thing you'll probably notice, you'll notice a little bit of the lighting. You notice in the back, it's a little bit darker. That's because it's super early morning. And we're doing this super early morning instead of late morning, midday, maybe later in the day when the daylight is out. Because today I'll be going to an event and the event that I'm going through or going to, I should say, is the Personal Trainer Business Incubator Retreat uh, for 2022. This particular event is put on by uh, my mentor and his company, Zach Colburn. I'll shout him out in um, the link in the description below. You can check him out. Basically, it's an online training coaches academy, uh, more or less. And this is a retreat that he's holding in San Diego. And there's people literally all over the country flying in from Florida and Jersey on the East Coast, from Texas, driving just locally down from LA, people flying in from Canada. Uh, it's a pretty amazing community. It's a bunch of young people who are in the online fitness coaching space, and we're all you know, learning and growing our business skills and growing our businesses together. So it's an opportunity for us to kind of get together and network and learn from each other. And I've had some already fundamental shifts and we're not even into the first day of events. So why am I speaking about this today? Why is this not a typical fitness video, more of a mindset video? They really go hand in hand. And the reason I'm speaking about this particular topic, which is again, overcoming your circumstances, doing what needs to be done regardless of what's happening on the outside is because today I am, as I said, going to this event and it's going to be from about, I'm going to leave here at 8.30 and then it's going to go until about 3 in the afternoon. I believe there's a workout after at the old gym I used to train at and then I'm sure we'll all hang out tonight. So it's going to be a busy day and a busy weekend. Now, here's the challenge and the, I guess, genesis of the video is that I am working with a bodybuilding coach now and the workouts are more intense than they've ever been. Uh, I mean, I'm in the gym for two, two and a half hours for training sessions. I'm eating about five, you know, six meals a day, uh, supplementation. I'm sitting here and pretty soon I'll have to start going to posing practice. I mean, he let me know the time commitment that it takes. So a lot of people, the other day I spoke with this gentleman, he said, I'm an electrician talking to him on Instagram, he's like, I'm an electrician, and sometimes I don't even have time to drink water, I'm so busy, the nutrition is, you know, my toughest part. And to be honest, the reality is that's bullshit, because you won't make time for the things that are important to you, we all make time for the things that are important to us, and, you know, the saying that keeps coming into my mind is, you'll either make it happen or you'll make an excuse, and it's one of those two things, pretty much, because everything can be overcome. So here I am, I've got a new client calling about 20 minutes uh, where I'm gonna you know, have a short introduction with a potential new client. I've got an existing client coaching call at eight and then I'll be off and running. I gotta take care of my dog and still tie, you know, handle some things and then we're off and running to this event uh, while handling it. So I got up because what's important to me is that I see this goal through and that I'm successful when I step on stage for the first time. That's gonna take commitment and consistency. So instead of making excuses and thinking, oh, how am I gonna make time to eat and nutrition. My ass is up at 5 a.m. and I'm meal prepping at 5 a.m. after I do my meditation. So what it comes down to is when something is important to you, you will not make an excuse. You will just make it happen. An extreme example is this. If you got a phone call right now and your mom or dad or someone you really cared about was in the hospital, you would drive straight over. It wouldn't matter what you were doing. You would literally, you know, drop whatever you're doing and you'd be gone. Same thing, you know, you hear about uh, another story that randomly, I guess, comes to mind is you hear about these professional athletes and they would be present for the birth of their firstborn son or daughter and they're skipping on like playoffs or championship games because that's what's important to them. So it's all about priorities and what's important to you. So whatever your goals are, whether it's getting in shape and having a better body or improving your mental health or building a business, making more money, all these things, you can either make an excuse or you will just make it happen. And that's really what it is. 
there's two types of mentalities I've realized and it really is this black and white. You'll either have a solution or I should say a problem oriented mindset and just all you do is focus on the problem and go, well, I can't do that. It's super hard, you know, and then someone will give you a solution the way they say, you know, for instance, like, okay, I need to you know, get more clients in my business, right? And they'll say, okay, you need to make more calls. Well, yeah, I can make more calls, but it's really hard to make more calls or I can't because I don't have time because I have to go kid, pick my kids up from soccer practice. It's like, okay, hire someone to go and pick up your kids from soccer practice. And they're like, well, I don't have the money because I need to make more. Okay, so make more money. Okay, well, I need to, so you see what I'm saying? So you'll either make a solution and come to a conclusion and handle what needs to be handled and quit making excuses about it, or you end up getting on this endless loop and thought cycle of creating the same problems over in your mind and instead of solving the problem and moving on to the next one it's just this endless perpetuation uh, of problems that you're creating in your life so the opportunity is to become a solution oriented person so okay great i need to uh, get these things done i need to make sure that i stay on my meals and my macros today's rest day from training or else i would have been at the gym at 4 a.m Great, let's handle that. So meal prep, cool. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna meditate at 5 a.m., I'm gonna set my alarm, um, you know, I'm gonna make my food, I'm gonna handle all my stuff, I'm gonna do my client calls, I'm gonna get my take my dog out, make sure he's taken care of, and then I'm gonna go and handle this event and be present and learn and grow. There's no excuses, right? If you're someone who has a family and you're busy, you're like, oh, it's easy for you to say you don't have kids and all this stuff. Again, that that's your circumstances. You've got to learn to overcome your circumstances and instead of using your kids or your busy life as an excuse ask yourself well what's the solution how can i solve this so instead of saying this is the problem this is the problem this is another problem and this is why i can't handle this problem because there's also that problem and that problem arises problem 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 oriented mindset will never get you anywhere you've got to have a solution oriented mindset and say how can i solve this how can I make more money? I need to get more clients. How can I get more clients? How can I make more calls? Uh, or how can I get more leads? Um, I need to hire somebody. Okay, well I need to hire somebody. Well, if I don't have the money, how can I either find the money or make a connection to learn how to get more leads? You see what I'm saying? So you just ask yourself these questions over and over in order to find the solutions. When you begin to shift your mindset to a problem solving mindset, you will overcome the circumstances that surround you and what will happen is instead of your environment controlling you, you will learn to create the environment by learning to solve the problems and whatever arises. So again, when you start having a solution oriented mindset, how can I solve these problems presenting themselves? You will no longer be a victim to your circumstances in the environment around you. You will be the one guiding and creating and molding the situation around of you as a result of your mindset to say, I can solve this problem, I'll figure it out. And that's really all success is, at least in money and business. For my you know, very rudimentary, basic level experience, I'm realizing what it takes. It's about problem solving. And the people that make the most money are the best problem solvers. And the people that make the most, most money are the people that learn to solve other people's problems. And that's really all products and services are. If you think about it, your uh, car is making a weird smell. Well, what do you do? You take it to the mechanic and you pay him for what? You pay him to solve the problem that you don't know how to solve, right? Uh, I'm really out of shape and I don't know what exercises I'm doing and my knees always hurt and my nutrition is screwed up. That's why you pay a professional and a trainer to solve that problem for you and teach you how to do that. It's the same thing with your business. I don't know how to generate money. Why am I you know, paying so much uh, or losing so much off, you know, off the bottom line. Um, well, you pay a business mentor or someone to audit your business and say, here's where you're leaking things. Your close rate's crappy. Your client retention is crappy, whatever it is. So you've got to solve these problems. And when you learn to solve the problems in your own life, again, you'll build confidence and strength in your ability to handle whatever situation arises. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I just want to do a short uh, talking video on not letting your circumstances control you and learning to handle the situation regardless of what's happening on the outside. And the very basic gist of it, you're either solution oriented in your mindset or you're problem oriented and you keep replaying the problems and creating more chaos and problems in your life. You know, it's obviously your choice what you want to do, 
I've done both forever. I've played the victim and the sob story and shut the world off and did nothing but smoke weed and play video games and not want to talk to people and just have a menial job. I did that forever because I didn't think I could handle any of the problems in my life. I did that to avoid. You're more than welcome to do that. I did it for a long time. It's super shitty. Uh, eventually, or at least for me, I got sick of it. I no longer want to do it. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing YouTube. That's why I'm back to online training. That's why I'm interested in learning, uh, growing and learning. And it all comes down to the solution-oriented mindset. How am I going to solve these problems? So I hope you got some value out of this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like the channel. Uh, they're going to be cranking up the fitness content. Uh, and also, it's funny, I forgot to mention this as well. Part of the genesis of this video is I made a commitment to myself that I was going to post two YouTube videos a week. I've only gotten one out and it was a workout video. And now that my uh, skills and I'm having fun like learning how to edit and shoot this stuff, they're taking more time. They're also better quality, but they're taking more time. This, I wanted to get on and just rap about some stuff because I wanted to keep my commitment to myself and use the time that I have and not make any excuses and think how can I create the solution and remain a man of my word and my commitment to myself to post two YouTube videos. Here it is. It's to get on here and just make a video and don't worry about it being perfect. That's a whole other, uh, other subject about perfectionism. Uh, so just take action and think about solutions. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.